Hello again, this is Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the Movie Picks Guide to Cyberlink Power Director, and here we are in a brand new Power Director project. And naturally, before we begin editing our video in our other media, we need to get the media into our project and put them in our media library here, our media room. And there are a couple of ways to do that. Now, right now, my video is on my camcorder. I need to get the video onto my computer in a permanent place. In other words, on my hard drive or on, an, on a continually connected external drive. Because if my computer files are on my hard drive and I just browse to them without actually moving them off my camera's hard drive, when I unplug my camcorder, it's going to lose the connection to the media files. So the media files have to be moved from the camcorder to the computer. To do that, I want to go over to my capture workspace. Now, if you have a mini DV or an HDV camcorder. These are both tape-based camcorders and you've connected them by firewire. These little icons over here in the upper left corner will be lit up and when they are you can select the option to capture from your DV camcorder which as you know will happen in real time. Same with your HDV camcorder. That's how video is captured from tape. When you're getting video from another source, say from a, a DVD or you're getting them off of a camcorder, where the video is stored either on the camcorder or on a, a storage card in the camcorder, you need to use this, capture from an external or optical device. So I need to select the drive, so I'm going to come down here and click this button, Drive, and select the option to AVCHD folder. I'll browse down here to my computer, open that, and select my camcorder. There it is. Click OK, and it will load the data from my camcorder into this area so we can select which files we're going to download into our computer. So we've got one video here and we can we can preview this by clicking the play button. We've got a short video here and we've got another short clip over here. In order to capture them we just check these boxes here say movie and title then my capture button or my record button is lit up. Now it's not going to record it like I say in real time it's going to actually download these files to my computer and simultaneously add them to my project. So let's click the record button and it will extract that file from my camcorder and save it to my computer and add it to my project. And there we go we could just name this file let's call it bird and click OK. And there it is. It's come down from our camcorder. It's now in our captured content. And once we've captured our content, we can go into our project by clicking the Edit tab. And there is our captured video, which if I click on it, we can see in our preview monitor. And you can see that it's captured all the scenes that were on my camcorder. And we can begin to use these in our project. Another way to add the video to your, to your project is to import it. And in fact, a lot of people do this by manually going to their camcorders using Windows Explorer to move the video or copy the video from their camcorder to their hard drive and then just simply import the video. And to do that, we click this Import button right here. And we have the option of either importing individual files or importing an entire folder at once. In addition to grabbing some media that is on some of these websites, we'll look at those more closely later, or at least this one in particular, the Director Zone, which is a very, very cool feature that's uh, a free giveaway here as part of the Power Director package. So we'll select Import Media Files. Here are some of my media files when I just select a group of them like this, click Open, and there they are. They are added to my project. Now, I can preview each one of those by selecting it and then I can add them to my timeline. And we'll take a look at how to do that in our next lesson here. But just know that the, the program does a great job of auto-analyzing these clips and then setting up its project to match the specs of these clips. Very, very cool. Makes it very easy for you to throw together your movie and really get a very nice professional production with some very simple steps. Now in part three of basic training, we're going to show you how to work with some of the media that you have in this media library here inside this media room. We'll show you how to pre-trim it and we'll show you how to analyze it and do some other really cool things before you even add them to the timeline. We'll do that in basic training part three. I'm Steve Grisetti. Hope you'll join me for part three here at moviepicks.com.